Here at San Diego State, I've been extending my knowledge from undergrad in terms of mass incarceration and the way race affects not only individuals, but society as a whole. And so I was very excited to see Dr. Annette Gordon-Reed's presentation today because she has written a lot about race in America, let alone the fact that history has not always presented both sides of race. So I was very excited to just speak with her today. I was writing this in the wake of uh, George Floyd, uh, the murder of George Floyd, which interested a lot of people in Juneteenth because, because of the timing of it. And there's been a steady, I noticed a steady increase in people writing about Juneteenth over the years, but it reached sort of a crescendo after that event because people were thinking, how did, how did we get here? It just raised the profile of the holiday quite a bit. and so. I thought if I wrote this, it would be an entree into thinking about America as a whole, the United States as a whole, because Texas in a lot of ways is, is a microcosm. I've been a fan of, of uh, Professor Gordon's work for a long time. And uh, my question to her was about the photo of my uh, uncle and family um, in segregated South and kind of how it associated with her and, and her journey being the first person to kind of deal with segregation in Conroe. To have the chance, one, to speak to her directly, and two, do it here at SCSU, was uh, really a great thing, especially for a Texan. So, you know, I, I think it was really good. Great answers and a great meeting. This has been the College of Arts and Letters inaugural Dean's Lecture Series, and I'm so thrilled that we were able to bring someone of the stature of Professor Annette Gordon-Reed. I look forward to annual lecture series and to bringing you all back for more.